When dealing with nerve surfaces, it's important to know how any surface has been created and how Maya reads the surface parameterization. Parameterization refers to the way in which Maya assigns numeric values to the surface isoparms in either direction. There are two ways that Maya does this. The first is called uniform parameterization, and it's ideal for modeling. The isoparms are numbered sequentially. One numbering method of uniform parameterization is called zero to number of spans. Using this method, the first isoparm is number zero, followed by one, two, three, and so forth until you reach the end. This surface is an example of a uniform surface with zero to number of spans parameterization. Find the mathematical start of this surface and identify the U and V directions and the direction of the normals by selecting display, nerves, surface origins. The indicator is located at the first isoparm in both directions. The red line is the U direction, the green line is the V, and the blue line shows the direction of the surface normal. In the attribute editor for this surface, under the heading Nerves Surface History, we see that the range in U is 0 to 2, which corresponds to the two spans in the U direction. The range in V is 0 to 5, corresponding to the number of spans in V. Another way of numbering a uniform surface is called 0 to 1. The first isoparm is 0, the last one is 1, and each one in between is an even fraction. Looking at the surface origins for this surface, for example, you can see that the mathematical start of the surface is in the lower left-hand corner. The U direction, red line, goes from left to right, and the V direction goes from bottom to top. Hence, there are four spans in U and five spans in V. A look at the attribute editor confirms this for us. Notice, however, that the range in U and V are the same, going from 0 to 1. The isoparms are numbered by decimals, each evenly dividing the unit by the number of spans. Hence, in the U direction, the numbers are 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1. In the V direction, the numbers are 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1. Let's go ahead and attach some of these surfaces. Uh, Let's go ahead and attach some of these surfaces. What we want to make sure of is that we have the same parameterization on both surfaces. It doesn't matter what that parameterization is. If it's 0 to 1, it has to be 0 to 1 on both. If it's 0 to number of spans, it has to be 0 to number of spans on both. So this surface right here is uh, 4 by 5, 4 in U, 5 in, in V, and it, both, it goes from 0 to 1. The beginning of this surface is in the lower left-hand corner. So I'm going to kind of use that as my base here. This surface also has its origin in the lower left-hand corner, so these are set to, uh, to attach. This upper surface, however, is a zero to number of span surface. You can see that because the parameterization goes from zero to two and zero to five. So I want to rebuild that to a zero to one. At the same time, I want to make sure that I have four spans in the U direction so that all of these isoparms line up. The V direction doesn't really matter at this point, so um, I'm going to start by just moving this surface over so that it's attached, so that it's connected there. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, rebuild this. I'm going to set my number of spans to four in U, five in V. Make sure that my parameter range goes from zero to one, and hit rebuild. Now you can see that these two surfaces line up perfectly. Uh, I can select the first surface, the second surface, uh, open up my edit nerves, attach surfaces, uh, make sure that my attach method is blend, and keep originals is turned off, and I'll attach them. Now these two surfaces, I'd like to make the equivalent. Um, ordinarily, I would consider building into the level of detail of my most complex surface. In this case, it doesn't really matter because I'm just dealing with planes. So um, I'm going to start with this one. I want to check and see where the origin is, which is fine. Um, I've got the beginning here in the lower left, the beginning here in the lower left. So that'll attach there with no problem. But I want to make sure that this surface will cover half of 
the distance of this. So that would be five spans. So I need to make sure that this is a five span surface in V. And it doesn't really matter what it is in U, but I'm going to go ahead and make it four just to, uh, just to stay even here. So I'll open up my rebuild options. Uh, four spans in U, five spans in V. I'll rebuild it in both directions, uniform, zero to one, and I'll go ahead and rebuild that. Uh, I'm going to move the pivot point over to the corner here, and then I'm going to use my curve snap tool to just snap this right into place. This surface is probably going to need a little bit more work. Uh, looking at the parameterization in the attribute editor, I can see that in the U direction it, uh, it goes from 0 to 1, which is what I want, but in the V direction it goes from 0 to 3.844. This indicates to me that this is a chord length surface in the V direction. We also need to adjust the number of spans to match what we've got here. So first I want to take a look at the surface origins, and I can see that uh, my U and V directions are totally wrong. What I want is for the U to go from left to right, and I want the V to go from bottom to top here. So I'm going to open up my, um, uh, my Edit Nerves uh, Reverse Surfaces direction, and the first thing that I want to do is swap the U and the V. I need the, the, um, uh, the U to be the one that's going from left to right. So I'll just hit Swap here, and apply that. And now uh, my U is at least going in the right, you know, it's, it's going from left to right or right to left. Now what I can do is go ahead and reverse that U. Uh, so now it'll go from left to right. And now I want to reverse the V as well, and that's going to make it go from bottom to top. Notice how the normal direction changes based on these reversals, because the normal of a NURBS surface is a function of the U and the V directions. So the next thing that I want to do is make this a 0 to 1 uh, parameterized uh, um, uniform surface. And I'm a little restricted as to what I can do here. I want to make sure that this line right here, this isoparm, is going to match up to this. So I have to make it have four spans in U. And then along this edge here, I need to make sure that it has five spans. So that's the V direction. So I'll open up my rebuild surface tool here. I want to make sure it has four spans in U, five spans in V. The rest of these settings are okay. Uniform, 0 to 1, U and V, so I'll rebuild that. And now this surface, topologically, looks exactly like all the other ones. Uh, I have a little bit of a discrepancy in the distribution of the isoparms, but that's only the way I look at it. Maya sees this as being exactly the same as this surface. So I'm going to uh, move the pivot point. Uh, to this corner here, and I'll snap this using my curve snap tool uh, to the corner right there just so that they line up. And then I can take these two surfaces and edit NURBS, attach, and then these two surfaces and do the same thing. Now right here, you know, my isoparm is a little bit bent. I can clearly take my control vertices here and shove them over just a little bit to straighten the surface out if I really want to do that. Same thing with these guys over here. Pop them over a little bit. And there you go.